Hi everyone, I would like to welcome everyone of you for coming and watching this video. My name is Adrian, aka Pina Guapo. <laughs> and here we're gonna talk about everything there is to know about potato chips. Now the question, have you ever wondered how this thin piece of snack came to be? Now the story goes like this. One thing we can surely say about the invention of potato chips is that it's rather surprising and funny in a way. When french fries made their way to America, they soon became a restaurant superstar. It all started in a small town in America called Saratoga Springs in New York City during 1853. One restaurant named Moon's Lake House was very famous with their french fries as their signature dish. Or as they say in their small town, potatoes served in a French manner courtesy of their very own chef, George Grum. One day, just like any other day, one customer who was rumored to be Cornelius Vanderbilt visited the Moon's Lake House restaurant, sat there, and ordered their famous signature dish, which is their french fries. And when the food was finally served, things turned out a bit unexpected. Ah, I know Okay, let's rewind for a bit. The customer wanted his fries remade, and this happened not just once, nor twice, but multiple times. This was going on and on and on until the chef, which was George Crum, finally snapped. He was so frustrated with how it turned out that he wanted to get revenge on the customer who disrespected his cooking. He sliced the potatoes paper thin, so thin that the customer can't even use his forks anymore and had to eventually eat the fries with his hands. Deep fried the paper thin potatoes to a point where it was golden brown and was crispy to eat. Drizzled it with so much salt for an even better revenge against the customer. But again, he was surprised by the turn of events. Hmm, interesting. Now that we know how it was invented, the question still remains. How did potato chips become popular? Well, to start, the place of Saratoga Springs back then was just starting to become a tourist destination. And that was because of the newly constructed railroads inside the town, making it easier for tourists and traders to come and go. Along with the help of other existing establishments who heard about this newly invented food, the potato chips soon became a staple food in Saratoga Springs more famously known as the Saratoga Chips. Eventually, almost every food business in New York City heard about this new invention, putting it in every menu they had back then, and later on took over the world by surprise, and was made to be the most popular snack we know today, the potato chips. Wow, okay, we are done with the history, we are done with how it was marketed, now let us go to the present. How is potato chips being used today? Let's try to find out. <laughs> 